Girlfriend, why are you doing this? It's my chair. I need to sit. Oh, no. Do, 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 do. But for real, like, get, get off, please. Get, get off. Get off my chair! Hey, it's me. It's Mars. I'm back. I feel like drawing again, so let's draw again. So I just did Marty McFly. I'm still in my 80s mood. I feel like drawing John Bender from The Breakfast Club. So that's what, that's what I'm going to do. So, gotta go back to my tone sketchbook and find a good blank page. But do the last one I did. Yeah, we can go there. I kind of go random order, as you can tell. Random shit. But, um, we'll just go chronologically for now. Alright, so now, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> How do you art? Ooh, let's, let's start, I guess. Can I adjust my light? <laughs> Technical difficulties. I don't have the best lighting set up up in here. I got natural light and then as that like slowly, you know, as, as the world turns, <laughs> that changes. So then I got my other light, but like, I don't really like this boy. Okay, so I kind of am going for like a kicked back, I don't give a shit kind of pose because I feel like that's that's what John Bender would, that, that's who he is, so. Sketch. Time to sketch. Oh. What do legs look like? Where, where's the meat of the leg? The calf of the leg? Ooh, someone's at my house. All right, let me stop this while I go answer the door. All right, so I answered the door, and now it's four days later, so. <laughs> that was my brother, he invited me to pizza and beer, and I couldn't say no to that, so I went and got pizza and beer, and then I forgot what I was doing, and now it's four days later, so. God, all right, I'm distractible. Let's do this. Well, who, who was I drawing? John Bender, Breakfast Club, got this. Let's go, okay. And now it's voiceover Mars doing a voiceover. So here I am, struggling with this, uh, this arm. Yeah, anatomy, you know how it is. It's rough. It doesn't make sense. You just gotta keep practicing it, which is what I say every time. Anyways. Watch me struggle. Hmm? Oh yeah, and here's my favorite part. My favorite part is drawing clothes. Clothes is fun. Clothes um, is, I don't know. Something about clothes is just, it's just my favorite part. It's just fun, like the folds and the wrinkles and all the little details, it's fun. I also really like how baggy his pants are in the movie. I think it's a cool look. I don't know, all 80s clothes are so cool. I just wanna live in the 80s with all that 80s fashion. Oh my God, it's like, a, it's a, that's like my dream. I just, I was meant to be a teenage boy in the 80s. I say this all the time and I'm gonna keep saying it. Hell yeah. Mm. And of course I leave the face for last and I actually left my face struggle in this time. I think I redrew his face like five times. I'm just, I don't know man, I don't think I've really like sat down and tried to figure out like what is my style when drawing a face. So I just kind of like struggle with what I'm trying to, I don't know, what kind of outcome I'm trying to come up with when it comes to a face. And I feel like when I draw so small, 
it kind of like holds me back but I don't know maybe one day I'll sit down and like figure out what the hell kind of faces I want to draw I don't know I don't know but here it is good enough right good enough that is my catchphrase my motto And then we get to the coloring, which is really fun. Again, I'm using my colored pencils because I just, man, I love colored pencils. I really do. They're so fun. Y'all need to, to live the colored pencil life. Um, I always start with the skin first, I've noticed. Maybe I'll break that habit. Not like it's a bad thing. But yeah, start with the skin and then kind of like work my way down. It's usually how I go about it. And I usually shade skin if it's like a medium to like light skin tone with like purple and brown. And I feel like I could probably use more contrast, but I mean, next time, <laughs> next time, whatever. And then I'm trying to get those tiny little details in, as always. You know, making videos of myself drawing has really made me realize my hands are not that cute. I mean, like, oh well, what you gonna do at this point? I mean, I ain't no hand model. I ain't no Joey Tribbiani with his hand twin. Like, <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta take what you got. The Breakfast Club is an awesome movie, 80s, because I'm on my uh, 80s kick right now. I'm just watching all the 80s movies because they're amazing. 80s movies, 80s music, 80s fashion. I just want to live that aesthetic. Oh my god. Like, and I think, I think John Bender would be my favorite Breakfast Club character, I guess. I don't know. I just like his outfit. I don't know if that, like, if that's like what I should base my favorite character off of. They're all cool. I don't know. Who's your favorite Breakfast Club? Cub? Wow. Who's your favorite Breakfast Club character? Tell me. I want to know. My favorite character from an 80s movie is obviously Marty McFly, but like I'm not drawing that. Again, I already did that. I did that in the last video, which you should go check out. Yeah. All I know is I would love to do a group costume for the Breakfast Club. That would mean I would need to get like a group of people who would commit to dressing up as the Breakfast Club with me. And I would definitely do John Bender. I would I would John Bender it. I want my earring and one ear with my girl Molly, like my plaid and my shoes, big old boots and the bandana on one foot. I would rock that, but like, where am I gonna get all these people to dress up as the other characters? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for costumes, and I feel like I'm the only one. I mean, off the internet, in my, in my, in my real life. In my real life. Yeah. I can dream. I can dream. Guess I should get back to talking about art. <laughs> Um, I did have like a little bit of a struggle with um, those sleeves. I couldn't decide if I wanted them to be like pure white or off white or if they should have a texture or what. So a couple times throughout this I'll like go back and just add something, blend something. And then those pants, you'll see that um, I made them a little too dark. So I color the whole thing, spend all this time on it, and then I go back with a light gray, which is great with Prismacolor pencils because you can layer them. You can put like a light color on top of a dark color and lighten it, which I think is like a really awesome, uh, oh my God, there is a spider right next to me. Holy guacamole. I'm just gonna walk over here now. I'm in my kitchen recording commentary. Oh my Lord. <laughs> this video is a goddamn mess, but like, uh, I mean, come on. I'm having fun. Oh my God, that spider scared me though. Um, back to the art. <laughs> Yay, yay, yay. Back to the art. 
I guess there's nothing else I have to say about the art. Like, just watch me color. It's fun. I love personally watching people color on YouTube, which is why I've started doing this. I think it's just relaxing. It's cool to see other people's processes. Process? Processes? Either way, it works. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I wanted to throw mine in there, in the mix. And it, it, God, it's really fun. I'm getting a little bit more used to the drawing and recording and editing. Hopefully it won't be such a chore <laughs> in the future because I do like sharing my art. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna let y'all just watch me color and I'm gonna stop babbling about nonsense. So yeah, enjoy, enjoy it. Oh, I will say that um, I do add an actual block of color in the background, which I didn't do in my last one, and I said I would, and I never did it. So I, I feel like a block of color in the background just kind of like solidifies the little illustration, makes it look less of just like random person floating. It looks like more like it's like a, I don't know, it still kind of looks like random person floating, but it looks more complete than just like no background. Do you know what I'm saying? And then of course I go in, you'll see with my white gel pen, go around the character it, it's fun you should try it it makes your character look like a sticker like you could peel it right off the page and I see other people do it and I'm like hell yeah girl that is my jam I like that I like that anyways all right I guess um, we're nearing the end of this so I will just let this run and then I'll come back with like my final uh, reveal of this artwork we get a little bit of a closer look so yeah Stay tuned. All right, I think I'm done. Let me sign it. Wow, what is today? I usually put today's date. I think it's the 21st. Close enough. Close enough. Nice. All right, yeah, that's it finally uh finish this one all right well thanks for watching and i guess that's it bye